Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we discuss Mandela effects and the like. Welcome and thank you for joining. And uh, welcome all Mandela effectians. Hey guys, um, listen, um, I would, uh, I just want to tell you that I would never bring you false information. I'm presenting you information. I'm actually asking you guys to vote on my videos. Um, if a vote, if a video is deemed uh, that has too many um, opposition, I will take down my videos or that video specific one. But anyway, I, I want to talk to you guys about Elizabeth Shue. Uh, this famous woman, she's been in so many movies. She was in Adventures in Babysitting. Um, she was also famous in Karate Kid. Um, let, let me know what you guys think, okay? If this is a Mandela effect to you, but I... I can I can almost remember her name Elizabeth being spelled with a Z, and apparently a lot of other people are as well. So I think this may be a possible Mandela effect. I believe it may have been mentioned before. If not, I'm mentioning it now. I, I just happen to be going through some old movies, and I've seen her name pop up. So um, I found a newspaper from the Beaver County Times. This is one of many I'm sure she's in. Um, 8 p.m., 20 bucks. This beguiling 1993 film, yada, yada, yada. Stars include Linda, uh, Linda, Hunt, um, Linda Hunt, Spalding Gray, Elizabeth Shue, see how it's spelled with a Z, Christopher Lloyd. Now, notice how, you know, none of those other names are spelled wrong. Um, so I'm assuming this editor of this newspaper knows how to spell Elizabeth Shue's name, her real name. Um, I'm looking here at Toronto Life. Uh, dot com and Elizabeth Shue is spelt with a Z. Um, here is another site. Uh, it's listall.com. Um, Elizabeth Shue spelled the way I remember it. But right here, and you know, why would they do that? Why would they contradict the title from the main content and tell tell us her name is Elizabeth Judson Shue with an S? So that just leaves me curious, right? I mean. And this this is an article by Charles Webb. Um, a few distractions or distracting things about adventures in babysitting. And this is back from uh, 8-7-2012. Some of you might be picking up 20, the 25th anniversary adventures in babysitting Blu-ray this week. Hey, good on you. While it might not hold up as well as other late 80s family comedies like Uncle Buck or The Great Outdoors, it's still a solid little picture and it'll allow me Allow some of you out there to rekindle Elizabeth's shoe crushes. See, spelled the way I remember it. Um, here's another site, ifc.com. Elizabeth Shue. Um, 3D is not going to replace the A list of actors. Elizabeth Shue. There you have it. Um, CS, uh, now, this one is spelled differently. Um, Let's see. Yeah, because see, a lot of these sites are redirecting. Like, whenever you click on it, it might say Elizabeth Shue with a Z, but when you click on it, it changes to S. It's just, I think it's so weird how it does that. Um, I mean, clearly there's got to be a, this This could be a possible Mandela effect. Let me know. Elizabeth Shue. This is from Complex.com, pop culture. You see? I mean, she looked kind of cute back in that back in that uh, Karate Kid show. Um, so, I just want to put that out there. Um, let's see. Here's Adventures in Babysitting, Elizabeth Shue, spelled the way I remember. Uh, let's see. Oh, there she is. Just wondering if it shows her. Yep. Wait. You guys see that, right? I mean, why would they? Why would the person who published this video um, spell it like that? And they they seem like they're a big fan of Elizabeth Shue, and you see the way her na name is spelled in the film. I just think that's so odd, you know. Uh, Elizabeth Shue. Um. Think fast. Late eighties. Leah Thompson, or Elizabeth Shue. Now, notice how they spell Thompson, because there's several variations of Thompson, like uh, T. I've seen Thompson as T-O-M-S-O-N, and then you have the Thompson without the P. But notice how they got that right, but yet, and they get Elizabeth's name wrong. I just find that so weird, guys. 
Um, here's one on Pinterest. There's a Elizabeth shoe with a Z. There, it's like there's two of them, you know, Elizabeth shoe with a Z. Um, and then I'm on here on Twitter. Uh, Twitter, you're gonna get some mixed messages, and you know, if you go on there, you're gonna find probably 50-50 there. But it says my cool boombox, same as the one Elizabeth shoe had in the Karate Kid. Think Travis Barker would approve. So, um, again, this is about Elizabeth Shue. Let me go on uh, Google Trends real quick. Um, just, just to see. I like to check Google Trends sometimes. I, I'm, I'm kind of going back to that, um, you guys. And I'm sorry I haven't been doing it in a while. But, yeah, Google Trends will show you right there. I mean, how many people are searching for Elizabeth Shue? Okay, let's see. Okay, so right about now, right about here, uh, there's like a spike in the searches for Elizabeth Shoe. So this might have been when it changed, guys. It says December 30, December 25th. You see how many people are searching for Elizabeth Shoe? It spiked. So which leads me to believe this is a Mandela effect, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for checking out my videos and have a great Mandela effect day. And God bless.